so hi everyone in this particular demonstration we will be talking about an alternate for lang chain that is lang flow so basically lang flow can be taken as a ui version of lang chain all the components remains the same but you don't need to code anything so that's the best part and hence now you can build your generative ai applications without coding anything so giving a brief about lang chain i think lang chain is one of the most popular framework out there for building generative ai applications but using codes now an alternate for that langflow has come in which provides you with the ui to drag and drop all the components to form a generative ai application so in this particular tutorial i will be showing you how langflow works how you can install it to your system and how you can use it so let's get started so first of all you need to pip install langflow now once you press on this uh, command eventually it will take some 10 to 15 minutes to install langflow because it's a big package i'm not installing it because i already have it so so once you have pip installed langflow you can see the installation is successful the next command is to use this langflow space run this will again take some time to launch the langflow app uh, here you will be getting a local host address if the launch is successful i think in terms of installation nothing more is required just pip install the package and run this command langflow run now here you can see that we are able to get the langflow address on the local host that is on the port number 7860 so just do nothing copy this and paste it into your browser not found now after some time it will eventually load on itself so this is the ui that i was talking about here you can see that you can you have multiple options to create your generative application so i will start off with a basic one that i've already created and then we can play around with it so this is a basic app that i've already created so once you jump into one of the applications, if you are starting a new project, you need to start with the new project option as you saw there. My project is there. If you want to create a new project, you can create that. I'm using an existing one that I have prepared for this demo. So it's quite easy, nothing to do. So if you are well versed with LangChain, you must be uh, well versed with all the components present on the left hand pane. Input, chat, input, text, input if you remember. Output parses, chat, output, text output prompts date data different models that are supported here you can see that a number of models are supported by langflow including olama as well so olama is basically for local llms helper functions are there vector stores are there for building out rag applications embeddings and experimental stuff so in this particular use case i would be showing you How I created a baseline application using Langflow. So again, the UI is still not that friendly, but I would still take it because there are no other options. And if you are not into coding, I think still the best alternate so far for building LangChain apps. Now, if we jump into, again, I need to play a little bit here. So yeah. So in this particular app that I have built a basic prompting app, what I would be doing, you need to provide an input. There is a prompt template that I'm following. And then using the LLM that I'm using is Google Generative AI API. So that is a Gemini model. So why I'm using it? Because it is free to use. The API is free. I've already discussed in my previous video how you can create it. So now here you can see that there are four components in this particular pipeline that I've created. It's drag and drop. You don't need to do anything. If you wish to add one more component, you just need to pull it like this. And here you can see. For now, I'll delete it. Yeah. So the first input that goes is chat input. So chat input is basically the input given by the user. Now here you can see that the text that is going is let's dance. So basically this is going from the playground that you would be inputting. So the, my last input was less than that is what is coming out. Now here you can see that there are two circular dots which you need to connect. This is very important because what you are doing here, you are deciding over the flow. So the flow from chat input goes to the prompt. 
So basically, whatever you have inputted in the prompt goes into the user input variable. And here you can see that this is the prompt that I'm using. Answer the user as if you were a pilot, user colon user input and answer. So here you can see that user input is the variable that we are using. From where this variable value is coming from, it is coming from chat input as you can see here. So chat uh, user in the text that you input in playground will go into this particular variable value user input and user input would be used into the template. Now you can see the next element that is if you see from prompt message we are going to the LLM that is Google generative AI. So by default it is open here you can change it as I showed you here are the different models that are present Amazon Bedrock and Tropic so whatever API you have or even if you wish to use Olama just drag and drop here and connect these the output of prompt or the output of the previous step to the input of the next step this is the whole thing that you need to do it's very very easy to use so here what i'm doing i'm inputting the prompt template with the user input variable value that is coming from the input to the gen google generative ai module here you can see that there are multiple things that i've set up one is the google api key so i'm using the environment variable that is already set in my uh, local system if you don't have it do set it up and use the environment variable value straight away here i'm using the model name you can play around with the maximum token outputs and input goes from the prompt template that is coming from so basically don't get confused the only input that would be going is for the chat input and rest of the things would be taken care by blank flow now once it goes into the input the output of the google generative AI module goes to text output so this is a very baseline here you can see there is one more connection that you can build out you can available output component you can add it with multiple things this is very baseline stuff that i'm building here just for the demonstration purpose and as this is the first video i think in the upcoming videos i would be showing you how you can build rack systems how can you build chains etc as well so the pipeline looks something like this you have an input chat input goes to the prompt template so your input gets fit into the template that is if you if you wish to change the template you can change it you need to unlock this first answer the user as if you are a pirate you can change this template as well user and answer this is a template that we are using once this happens you need to feed it to the llm and then we are feeding it to the output do remember that i just wasted two days on this because i was thinking the output of the LM should come out automatically. It doesn't happen. You need to add the output component as well. So the output of the generative AI Google would go to the text output. Now let's test it out. So before testing it out, you need to compile it. So how to compile? You just need to click on the last. Again, unlock it. Last component. So here you will see that some tick marks are coming. That means there are no issues with these components. Right. For example, if your API key is wrong here, in this case, there would be a red cross that would come here rather than a green tick. If there are any issues in the pipeline that you're creating, once you click on the last play button on the last component, la the play button on the last component, uh, if any component fails, it will cr throw a cross red. Here, this is taking some time. So let's wait. Now here you can see that Everything has been built successfully and you're getting a prompt text output built successfully. Everything is green ticked. So your pipeline is correct. Now let's run it into the playground. You need to provide an input. Hello, buddy. How are you? Now, once you hit it, you can see your input going here and the output would come here. So this is the last output that I'm, uh, that you can see for let's dance. For this, you will be seeing a new output that would get changed here So, So the output won't come in this window. It would come on the left hand side. As you can see, the text output box is here. Now you can see that the output for the input has come in. It is now speaking the language of pirates as we discuss, as we have provided a prompt template. And this is how you can build small uh, generative applications using Langflow UI. So this is, was a very baseline demo. In the upcoming videos, we will be sharing about how we can build complex applications as well using Langflow for our purposes. Thank you so much.